It looks like something that you craft in Rust. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brian the Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Rainbow Six Siege. I think I've been hiding out for long enough on my YouTube channel, so we're back. Something interesting is happening in Rainbow Six Siege. As you can see in this lower left corner, you've got a very spoopy sort of multiplayer casual mode, which is actually pretty cool. All the operators are in their Halloween gear. Which brings me to the point that there are now Halloween packs. So that is super cool. I don't want to click on my quests. Let's I don't want to click on Renown Boosters. What's happening? Uh, but yes, here they are. Crimson Veil packs. Oh, very spooky costumes for our favorite operators. Let's go ahead and uh, look through the whole collection. So we've got Ectoplasm, which looks like a, a, pretty, a pretty decent look for the shotgun making holes and whatever, murder holes, so I would like to get that. I won't be buying any of these. I've already opened my pack, so I'll I'll cover that when we get to it. Um, we've got Mutilated for Thermite, which doesn't look all that different as far as I can tell. It's a little bit of a lighter color. I guess it's kind of cool. I'm not really one for uniforms. I really prefer charms and headgears, but... You can't, you can't have the whole thing without the uniform and shit. You've got Scarecrow for Vigil, which is, uh, yeah, not much of a change either. The face mask for Vigil is really cool, though, so when we get to that, White for Valkyrie, of course, is just white. <laughs> Pandemic. This is for Finca. Reminds me sort of of the Outbreak uh, mode that was around, which I don't think Finca was here for. We had Lion at that time. Yeah, Lion and Finca. Okay. <laughs> Finca was there, I think. Uh, I can't recall 100%. But anyways, it's, uh, it's a uniform. It looks decent, I guess. I like the little scorch marks or whatever on it. Uh, obviously, I do have the Jaeger headgear. And then he's got this uniform, which I really don't give a shit about. But that headgear is probably the coolest thing ever. I really, really like that a lot. Um, so yeah, speaking of which, here is the Dead Baron. Fucking awesome headgear for Jaeger. <laughs> I'm, I'm super stoked to have gotten that. That's probably the piece that I would have wanted the most. Um, we got Sanitarium for Valkyrie, which also looks really cool. That would be probably a second place for my most requested. No, wait, this is second place. Yeah, Grunt. It fucking turns Finca into one of those, those zombies that came from space. Really, really cool. Um, you've got Thermite here, looking like he just got burned by some mustard gas or something like that. And he's got one of those old World War II, old-timey helmets. It's called Brimstoned, but uh, if you're if you're stoned, I don't think you're gonna look like that. Your eyes are gonna be way more chinky, and uh, you'll probably still have the same dumb smile. <laughs> really, really interesting. Not my favorite. Really, I like the uh, mask I have on Thermite at the moment a little bit better, but it's decent, I suppose. And then finally, we got Suture. Vigil, like I said, has a little Scarecrow costume. Uh, this kind of looks cool. I guess it's better than the original mask. If I got it, I wouldn't be upset, but as it is, I think I got the thing that I would like the most from this pack. So... Let's see what else we got here. We've got Jaeger's Carbine with a little bit of sea rust on it, which I guess is okay. I definitely prefer the Damascus Steel that I got for uh, going premium this season, but it, I guess I guess it looks pretty cool if you ain't got the Damascus Steel. I like shiny guns, though. We got Harvester, the, the Boss G, which I never fucking use. It's kind of cool as well. It's got like an older look to it. It looks like something that you craft in Rust or whatever. Not my favorite, but decent, I suppose. Uh, oh, the Valkyrie gun that I would never fucking use. I always use the shotgun for Valkyrie. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's alright. You know, it's white like, like her costume, like her face, so can't complain about that too much. Charred. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. It's like Thermite blew up his own fucking face or something with one of his, his charges or something like that. It looks pretty cool, but uh, yeah. I've got better skins, I think, and they're not even rare. <laughs> and then Contagion. That's really actually ugly. I do use this gun for Finca, but I mean, just 
splattering some blood on it doesn't make me go, wow, that's that's something that I really need. It's <laughs> indifference. I'm completely indifferent towards this one. None of the weapon skins really impress me except for that uh, ectoplasm one. But yeah, last thing we got on the list, some universal charms. You got Gunky, which is uh, pretty disgusting. Little thing with a couple eyes sticking out. I probably would never use it. Patient Zero. Dude, that's fucking cool. I like that a lot. Probably use it for Legion or something, because he's got those, like, spiky traps. Hell yeah. My Ling. Uh, creepy, but I don't understand the point. If you did get the Valkyrie costume and put it on Valkyrie, that would be, like, really, really cool. But I am planning on buying the packs, so, yeah. I just got what I got, and I'm happy with what I got. Flying Dead, this is supposed to be Jaegers, I suppose, the Dead Baron. It's not bad. You know, the skeleton's got like a mischievous look on his face. Let's look at that full screen. Oh, it's not any bigger than full screen. Alright, thank you for that. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, it's okay. There's no planes in this game, so it doesn't completely fit, but it's, it's just fine. Hey Man, obviously Vigil's little scarecrow dude. And then you've got Molten Man, which would be Thermite, I suppose. And Melt Man, with the power to melt. Yeah, this is my favorite thing. If you could just buy items, I'd spend some renown on this weapon skin. But everything else seems kind of lackluster to me. But yeah, I do appreciate them doing the Halloween stuff. So that's, that's super cool of Ubisoft. I really wish... Uh, you were able to purchase with Renown, though. Last year you were able to, this year you're not. I don't know what changed, but yeah, I ain't spending 50 bucks on trying to unlock the last 21 items. I'm happy with what I got. Fucking Jaeger will be the Baron for the for foreseeable future. And yeah, I hope that you guys have some good luck with your packs. Get the things that you want. I do appreciate you watching, friends. This has been Rainbow Six Siege. Crimson Veil Packs. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you did enjoy the video. That is always, always appreciated. We've also got links down in the description to Twitter, Discord, Patreon. Speaking of Patreon, big shout out to MMX Akira and Nico the Legend for supporting me on Patreon currently. Damn boys, let me tell you, day to shit. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and until the next time, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.